It's the energy that powers the stars. It's the energy that powers the universe. And it can be the energy that powers our civilization. Imagine a source of energy that doesn't produce any carbon emissions or any substantial amount of radioactive waste and is unlimited in its availability, allowing billions of people to have decent standard of living now and forever in the future. There is such a source of energy, and that is fusion energy. It is the power of the sun. It is two light elements put together at extreme pressures and temperatures to release a tremendous amount of energy. I like to think or dream of the impact of fusion, not at a global scale, but at a personal scale. It means that there's never a person who's born whose full potential cannot be unlocked because they're blocked access to energy. The history of economic growth is really a history about getting more and more energy out of our environment, out of our our lives. As we start to add more and more into our, our energy system, you see economic growth take off. What that means is that there is more availability for everybody. Life gets better. Lifespans get longer. More people can, can come. We want economic growth. We want population growth. We want to see human flourishing. Fusion enables that. With fusion power, it becomes clear that there are no limits, that there's infinite energy, that in fact the source of energy is human creativity itself. When we think about energy, we think about gas, oil, coal, other things pulled from the ground. And when we look around the world, we see conflicts about where this energy comes from. And when we move into a world of fusion energy, it means that energy becomes divorced from that geopolitics and is no longer something that we have to fight for. There are two myths associated with energy. One is that we're running out of energy, and the other is that the more people that there are and the more that they do, the faster we will run out of energy. Both of these are wrong. The fact is the way the universe is constructed, uh, it, it, it will take multiple billions of years to actually run out of energy. Our sun has been working for billions of years and will continue to work for billions of years. Why? Like, where's the thing that keeps the sun glowing? It's actually in the power of the nucleus. And the nucleus is what makes up most of all of matter. The sun unlocks that energy, and that's actually why it runs. It unlocks fusion. All the sources of energy that we've used before, before the nuclear age in any case, whether we're talking about burning wood or burning fossil fuels, have been involved with rearranging the electrons of atoms. And that can release some energy but millions of times more energy can be obtained by rearranging the nuclei of atoms where we tap the nuclear force. When we're talking about the energy within the nucleus, what we're talking about is fusion. Using fusion to access the more than 99% of available energy. And when that happens, it releases a tremendous amount of energy that we can then use for all of the other things that we use energy for here on Earth today.